<laughs> I'm Isaac Preston. I'm, like I'm right Nicholas here. Smith. I'm down Latham. And we are just going to show you how to work the glove box that's behind us. Yep. Alright, so this right here is the glove box and we're going to show you how to turn on the glove box to make sure you can use the proper ratio. So the first thing you do first, you turn on the pup line which is down here. So you open it up and you turn it on. You're going to let this run for a couple minutes. Um, five, six minutes at the most. Or at the minimum, sorry, at the minimum. You can obviously let it run for longer to make sure that anything that's caught within the line between the glove box and the pump is taken care of. Now, we just barely turned this off to show this as a demonstration, so we're now going to turn this on. So you just press this, turn on, and you're good. And then you can adjust the pressure to what you want. Uh, typically, for usage, you want to go to 0.5 to about two. And then the system will equilibrate for you. And then another thing you have to check on too is that your purifiers in the corners, that they are off. If they're not on, they're not doing their work and therefore the system is not ready for uh, production yet. So you're gonna turn those on. And this isn't on right now because our catalyst is currently not working for uh, removing removal of two. But typically, you're going to want to see something that's less than one part per million. Right now, it's, it's zero, but this will normally say less than one part per million. Um, and if it's more than 200, we can't have the catalyst working. But the teacher should take care of that, so you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. But in normal, if it's, say, 100 or like 50 parts per million, you'll then make sure that's on, and it will lower down to less than one. And the same with water over here, which is that catalyst over there. Water has to be less than one part per million, which is currently working right now. And uh, once you've got that working, you can use the glove box. The glove box is ready for usage. Okay, when putting on the gloves, you want to make sure you're wearing gloves. First off, to make sure that they're clean and sanitized. You also want to take off any watches, because that could potentially puncture the gloves, and these are very expensive. Um, okay, when ready, you want to put your fingers in each of these holes. And get situated. If your hands are too big, that's just unfortunate. So once your hand is in, the pressure, you want it to be around 0.5 to 2 to be comfortable so you're not fighting against it. Your hand can go in and you're able to do what you need to do and experiment. And when you're ready to come out, you make sure that the fingers stay in so that the next person can just slide in nice and easy. If they come out, it's really hard and it takes time to adjust them, so just leave them like that. And if you want to, to be clean, you can sanitize them after. That's it. All right, so we're now gonna talk about putting stuff into the uh, glove box using what is known as the antechamber. Now, as you can see here, the antechamber, right now it's under pressure. This will help keep you know, anything that might possibly leak in. It's just getting sucked out our lovely pump system down here. To open it though, you have to put it into pressure. Uh, equal pressure either with the glove box or with the atmosphere out here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this. If it's perpendicular to the pipe, it means it's closed. So we're gonna open this. We're gonna get the pressure to be about, it says zero on the dial here, but that just means it's at atmosphere with what's, what's in here or what's in here. Okay, and we're gonna turn this off. And then we're gonna open, and it's safe to open. If it, if it was under pressure when, when we tried opening it, one, you wouldn't have been able to open it most likely. And if you were able to pull it open, there would be implosion problems. It could cause health issues. So put it under pressure first before you open. And I'm gonna take our lovely little, little wave out here. And uh, normally, when you put stuff into the antechamber to go into the glove box, you need to prepare it beforehand, and there's multiple ways you can do that. Um, we're using a wave up here because it's made of Teflon. The chances of it bringing moisture or oxygen in with it is very, very low. So we don't have to do any extra ways of preparing to put it in. But most things you're gonna to wanna to put in, like say an oven, like uh, if we wanted to put chem wipes in, we wanna put it in an oven for several hours, and then quickly transfer it over here to the antechamber, and then do the normal process to get it through. If you're putting in something that's like, say, uh, uh, a bottle of like salt or something 
they're going to want to put that in a desiccator for a little while. Make sure it draws all the moisture away from the bottle, and then you're going to put it in. Or if you have a weigh boat with, say, you know, that same salt mixture, you'd want to put it in here, but you'd want to put it more in like a beaker instead of the weigh boat, and cover that beaker with something. Because when we do the, the cycles, make sure it's going to go into the glove box, we don't want it sucking up anything that we put in into the, uh, the pump down here. And we're going to go over that cycle here in a second. So now we're going to take this, we're going to put it in. We're going to shut it, lock it, and then we're going to initiate the vacuum. It's going to suck down, get down way, way low. You'll hear it because it stops uh, sucking it because it reaches an equilibrium. And once it reaches that point, you're going to leave it for like um, probably six minutes, two to six minutes. You're just going to leave it. You're going to obviously leave it for longer too. And then when you're done waiting for it, and we're just going to show you now so we don't have to wait six minutes and then we film this again. You're going to shut this. You're going to fill this with gas again until it heats uh, before I do, at zero. Close this. And then you're going to flush it again. You're going to do this uh, three times or more. That's how many times you're going to do it. And this is actually quite a timely process. It should take you about 15 to 20 minutes just to get one thing in. In some things, you might need to flush a little bit more depending on what you're putting in. So you have to plan in advance whatever you're wanting um, to put something into the glove box. You have to plan in advance, make sure that it's sucked up all the moisture beforehand. Um, make sure it's stable and safe to go in. Do you have the right setup for it to go in? For example, if you want to put like a liquid in, you have to use our either our wonderful uh, Schlenklein that our friends over here are working on. I get rid of oxygen. But the liquids, use the Schlenklein. For that, you can use the gas. And then, um, yeah, and that's how you get something in. And when the time comes, we'll come back here and we'll have um, we'll have Dallin show putting it into the box. Okay, so now we're back. Um, we have are done with our third evacuation with the vacuum. So as you see, it's open right now, and we are now gonna close it for the last time, and open it up to the atmosphere inside here. Okay. And now we are just going to put on these lovely gloves here. Okay. And now that we have done the last evacuation, and I mean, opening it to this uh, atmosphere in here, we can now just come over here to this lovely little clamp, pop it open, and just grab out the object that we put in there. Oh. Oh. Which is a way boat. And we'll just add it up here with all the other way boats. As you can tell, moving in these gloves gets a, takes a little to get used to, and I am not used to them. Now when you're done, you just close this back up. And you're good to go. Okay, now we are going to show you how to take something out of the glove box. We are going to take out this weigh boat that we actually just put in. So all you're going to do is you're going to open up this door here, just like we did to put it in. We're going to put the weigh boat into the antechamber. And then we are going to now close the door. And we're going to pull ourselves out of the glove. You got my glove. Okay. Yeah. And now that it's closed, and we already have the chamber, not under vacuum, we can actually just open up this outside one and pull it out. It's that easy. That's why they put back underneath pressure. Oh. And then we just put it back with the vacuum and run it again. So if you're ever doing a reaction that will create a lot of vapor or is not good for either the catalyst and then you'll have to cap the catalyst there's these caps in here and you'll have to cap them with those white caps and turn them off and then do the reaction but then after that you have now contaminated this space 
so you'll have to purge it. And to purge it, you'll come over here and you'll pump the pressure up as high as you can go. So over here to the five, and this boy over to the five too. And then you come over here to the purge vent and you just open it up. And that'll just purge nitrogen through this and pushing out all the other gases that you create. Here, I'll just put this back real quick. And when it purges, it takes this nitrogen gas over through this tube into this oil tank here. And it bubbles it from the bottom. And it will come up and then come out and go into the hood in here, as you can see the pipes in there. And it just goes out safely. And the oil prevents any oxygen from going back into this. And so it's a little it all out. So if you're ever going to turn off the glove box, either for long term or just for a short amount of time, you will turn the pressure up to 3 to 2 on the inches of water. Just stick it up a little more, higher than the comfortable level. And if we're doing a long term, we especially want to make sure that these catalysts in here are turned off and capped with the caps up there to make sure that they are not getting damaged. We're just going to do a little bit of a short term, probably just like a few days, so it's not going to really matter too much. And we want to make sure that the antechamber is um, open to an atmosphere, so we have it open to the inside. I mean, has been refilled, refilled to an atmosphere, so it's not under vacuum. And um, then we'll just come down here to the vacuum. Or, well, first, actually, we're going to turn off the glove box. And we're going to come down here. And we're going to shut off the vacuum. And that's how you put the glove box on standby, or shut it down. And if you're going to shut it down for long term, make sure to turn off the gas too. Just a quick thing, when you're doing a long term shutdown, you do the normal procedure that we've mentioned before, but you do one more thing. You actually come over here to where our nitrogen gas is stored. And you turn off the gas here. And that's it, and that's how you just shut it down for a long-term uh, preparation, so.